Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we are going to be jumping down into the charts for Harmony One. See what's been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. It's been in a bit of a roller coaster of a ride, lots of things going on fundamentally, lots of things going on on the ecosystem. So yeah, about time we probably caught up on the TA. So as I get into this, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in uh, Discord, why not go ahead and check it out? Links in the description down below, completely free. And it's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. If you're looking for a little bit more from the crypto space, whether that is through AMAs, Project Writer, ups and some more technical analysis or trading check out the patron services in the description down below as well right let's um let's get into this right there's a lot to kind of discuss um from a ta perspective i'm going to try to avoid talking about things fundamentally until uh, i guess the project teams have kind of come out with their stance on it i don't want to jump don't, don't jump the gun on anything but there's a lot of stuff going on um uh, yeah dows and, and whatnot anyway i'm not going to go into that in this video i'm going to specifically talk about the price action why it's bleeding and what uh, this is potentially going to look like next okay because one way or another i do think we are going to see this as a fantastic opportunity and these these kind of things they don't come around all too often so and um, that's kind of been the process of this video now before i get into all of that i do want to kind of say this video has been sponsored by crypto.com the world's fastest growing crypto app there are over 10 million users buying and selling over 250 different cryptocurrencies at the true cost which is absolutely fantastic now um they do a little bit more than just buying and selling and, and acting as an exchange. They also have their NFT platform. But the purpose of this particular uh, segment really is to talk about their debit card. Now, um, with Crypto.com, they have a prepaid debit card. This isn't new news to, to many, um, but essentially it's actually a really fantastic tool. And I use it all the time. So does Chris. Um, and it's fantastic because you can earn cash back. But that cash back is paid to you in the CRO token. And I'm not allowed to talk to you about price action and all of that on the CRO, but I will say that it is an asset that is volatile. Sometimes that volatility makes the price go down. Sometimes that volatility makes the price go up. So when you have these debit cards and you're just using it for your everyday expenses, grocery shoppings, uh, maybe you're buying a new Range Rover as Chris did on his card or buying a new computer and new hardware for running this YouTube channel. We earn 3% cash back for all of those transactions paid in CRO. Now, when the market is down like this, that 3% really makes a huge difference. As I said, it's a volatile asset and that will actually potentially move up quite significantly. So 3% today might be 10% in another month or so's time. So really interesting kind of way of looking at it. And I think it's a fantastic perk to just, you know, getting a little bit back and treating your portfolio on just your regular everyday expenses. Now they go a little bit above and beyond that. There are some benefits depending on the cards that you go for. Everything from Shopify, Netflix, and Prime 100% rebated to you, paid again in CRO. Um, so again, you can just stack up your position with Crow uh, without actually, you know, doing anything more than just your regular Spotify, Netflix, or Prime, which is fantastic. Now they go a little bit further than that. You've got Expedia, you've got Airbnb, you've got airport lounges, you've got privatecrypto.com, you've got the bonus rewards you're earning you've got the merchandising pack and if you go for the obsidian card then that's a private jet membership included there as well there are some limitations about what you can do here so there's uh basically how much you can withdraw daily from uh, atms and of course how much you can do monthly from atms now you have to go in ahead and look at the terms and conditions in more detail. This is just US. If you're somewhere else in the world, uh, you'll be able to see um, you know, your currency. It does fluctuate a little bit. In the UK, for example, uh, monthly for me, I think we can take out from an ATM uh, £9,000 sterling um, and £1,800 uh, daily, I believe. Uh, but again, check out the terms and conditions for more details. There's also a limit on how much you can actually preload with these things. And that has caused issues for myself and Chris um, personally. And in terms of basically, you know, trying to buy things like cars, right? You're trying to buy a car, um, you need two of these cars if you want to do it and get 3% cash back, which we have done. And it does work out really, really nicely. So guys, I'm not going to go on about it, but there's a link in the description down below. If you do sign up to one of these cards, you are going to get $25 as a bonus using our link in the description guys let's get back into the video so harmony one 
um, has been pulling down. Now, this isn't new news. We talk about this all the time in our Discord. Um, so if you're not down there already, check it out. But basically, we're in this big corrective pattern. Now, I estimated this to go down to 8.2. We've actually lost the 1.236, but we have found reasonably good support down here in this lower range. Now, um, this is the thing, right? We have the one-to-one -one ratio is the most common, right? So a one uh, to one with the A and the C wave. Now, we've gone down lower than that. I think this is compounded, though, specifically with everything fundamental that's been going on okay so hopefully all that will get resolved soon but this is a, a potential opportunity right we see a mass exit um, of Harmony One right now. Everyone's in a lot of fear over the market and everything fundamentally that's going on with Harmony One. Now um, yeah it's, it's hard to kind of argue with think what people are saying. I'm not going to go into it though do your research, just dig into it, you'll, you'll find out. Um, but I am waiting to find out more from the team themselves as to, to see whether something is going to get rectified here or, or not. But essentially, this seems like a, a pretty interesting spot to, to kind of see Harmony 1 in um, because this is a really good low point. Now, and when we zoom out even further, we can see that we even broke down much, much lower. This was kind of expected from our um, our expanding kind of uh, or standard kind of flat correction. If I bring this up into our daily chart here we'll just bring this down here for a sec yeah there you go so we had this abc structure right short abc up and then another abc down this is all corrective okay it's not at it's not a trend based pattern okay so what we're actually witnessing here is essentially a, a corrective pattern emerging okay so we have the corrections coming down not a trend coming down and that's a real good distinction to know what is likely to happen next it means that we aren't going to just drop down impulsively because there's a trend to the downside and um, these are not trend based patterns okay these are just corrective based patterns Okay, so really important that we just kind of get that out of the way. Um, but when we talk about you know, the micro movements and we see this slightly overextended C wave here, this is actually now looking like a five wave move, um, meaning that we actually have a three, three, five inside our larger C wave. Okay. Um, so it's possible that we come down ever so slightly lower here. Okay. So there's going to be some more discounted options. Um, and if I just tidy this up ever so slightly, I'm going to remove some of these now because we've kind of gone past them. No point in keeping them now um, but what we'll do is we'll acknowledge that we have a three three okay and then this is our start of our five wave move okay so if we take this high right here transpose this to here we can see that as soon as we went past 8.4 that was an impulsive structure moving down. Um, so basically that lower end of the uh, 8.2 Saints area. So as soon as we get to 8.4, we hit 8.2, we're going to pull back down lower. Um, so when we take a look at the substructure here, we can see that this is a real good clear bounce at this point. Um, I don't think it is over just yet. If we bring the stochastic RSI into play, we can see that we've still got more room to come back down. I think Bitcoin is going to come down a little bit lower. And therefore, I think we have some new targets here for Harmony. So let me go ahead and draw these on. Um, again, you know, fundamentally we might see this change quite a bit because you know well things that are going on there um if we go ahead and draw in our zones we'll just go ahead and mark these up with our price labels um so we've got that coming down here at four one okay so we have that at six point four four one okay that's our low target and we'll probably be going a uh, higher end target here at 53 so basically 6753 okay so i'll remove this now and what i'll do is i'll then remove this one and you know what i will do is i'll also mark this 1.618 line just here okay this is an important one just because it's going to be marking our bigger impulsive structures okay which would be trend based so then i can delete this one off as well okay so if we come down to that dotted line okay at uh, basically 6104 uh, 6102 sorry and that's going to basically mean that this is no longer a c wave down okay instead this is a five wave structure uh, going down and we will expect maybe a bounce and another five waves taking us down significantly lower okay and that could be a fantastic opportunity even further so we're gonna have to watch that quite carefully okay uh, if we come down to that low but i'm expecting is the 6.441 to 6753 uh, and the reason for that is i think we have a five wave move just here we have one this being two this being three that being four and that being five okay and that would actually complete a five three five structure overall um although that's actually a three three five but yeah um we might have to adjust that maybe that's not even a five wave structure we'll have to come into that at some point but essentially that would just be an abc correction completing the entire moves coming down now losing the the 6.441 and going down lower than 6102 then actually that's a wave one this is a wave two 
this is a wave three, we'll bounce for a wave four and we'll drop down into a deeper wave five, okay? And we'll measure that if that happens. If it does happen, on the bounce up is what we want to potentially be exiting, exiting on. Um, I wouldn't necessarily want to be holding as much harmony as I am, personally, um, if we're going to be dropping down significantly lower than these levels, okay? Um, but that being said, we'll still see how that, that kind of goes. So I think... Ultimately, if we are dropping down that low with Harmony, Bitcoin is also tanking significantly lower than expected uh, as well. And we should also consider what that means slightly longer term. Now, I'm going to do a video this afternoon, guys, on Bitcoin specifically as to whether or not we think bear market bull run, what the closing below the EMA means uh, and all that kind of stuff, what the data is also suggesting in the background. So check that video out if you want to get a bigger understanding as to whether or not our strategy on the channel is going to have to change and adapt with recent data coming in here. But guys, I'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one